This video is going to be something so different than what we normally do. And again, we say that more and more each time. But this one, we actually had to leave the RV park to tell this story. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have never seen us ever before in the world, well one, you're probably lucky, and two, I'm Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is Life Redesigned and Carrie and I are just two average people traveling around the country. We live full time in our RV and we travel from RV park to RV park just having a blast of a time. Until just uh, recently we started noticing a few things and it sparked some interesting uh, conversations around the campfire. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. But uh, in a manner of doing this in a way that is family friendly, uh, there's going to be certain terminology we're not going to be using, and we're hoping that everybody can kind of see through this. Uh, we're talking about that skunky smell that we've been noticing everywhere. And for this video, we're going to refer to that as, well, lettuce. Keeps everybody happy and friendly and mm -hmm. cheery. Now, we don't advocate one way or the other. Um, how you choose to live your life is how you choose to do so. We're just here to fill you with all the facts and information that we have found all about lettuce inside the RV parks. Now, funny little story for you that uh, Carrie and I have noticed this a few more and more as we go. And we're not prudes here. We're in our 50s. We have a little bit of experience in this matter. Um, some maybe when we were younger. Some of us waited till we were 40. Um, <laughs> but we have a little bit of experience. But something that uh well we had a conversation we we're outside of our rv one day and the neighbors kind of looked at us and looked away and we we're like oh they must know that we do youtube and uh i said oh that's kind of weird maybe they just didn't like one of my rants at one point or another okay no problem a couple of days later they came over and they said hey we want to apologize for snubbing you well, why is that we asked steve and Steve decided to tell us that because he had smelt this skunky smell coming through the RV, he thought it was us that was polluting the air. And we had to tell Steve that that wasn't our style because we would have been smart enough to use something in a gummy form. Now, that did make a whole bunch of conversations about where we are in terms of society in accepting these skunky smells. So today, Carrie's going to come from the Book of Knowledge, and she's going to hit us with a little bit of stuff here and there. We're going to touch on these points. We're going to talk about them, and we're going to see at the end where this is going. So what do we have right. at the beginning of this here? Uh, so what is legal in how many states? So recreational. Recreational lettuce is legal in how many states? 24. And medicinal lettuce is legal in? 38. 38 states. So you can see we're about halfway through the country, give or take a few states, uh, that have legalized this for recreational but that sandwich making. does not mean that said sandwich can be made in every park. That's true. Now, when we talk about what's legal and what's not, again, look up each state because it's very yeah. different from one area to the other. One state to the next, even some counties, one county to the next. But just because lettuce is legal in your state or the state that you happen to be RVing in uh, does not mean that it's legal within that RV park. We are seeing a lot of RV parks, even in the state of Michigan, where it was everywhere. Uh, hmm. We felt we were at a lettuce farm. Yeah. Um, there was very specific rules for the RV parks that said that it was not allowed on their parks. And they didn't care if you were inside your RV or outside, they didn't want it on their grounds. And that is their right because it is private property. So you kind of have to respect that. And maybe some of you just aren't respecting that. Yep. All right, so that all said. So things are changing. Yeah, we are apparently yeah, so uh, there in a whole are new world here. There are lettuce friendly campgrounds. Do you dare you say? Where do you get this information from? From the dirt. So the dirt is a great website for the camping community um, as, as a whole. They actually did an article on this that was showcasing how many of these twelve twelve campgrounds that are lettuce friendly for those of you that like to make sandwiches on the go. Uh, and they went into not only 
it's a great read. I'll try to link to the article in the video description, but it's a great read if you are into that type of recreation, uh, what's legal, how it's legal, what they do, what they allow, what they don't allow, and what they actually mean by lead is friendly. Yep. Um, and there are 12 of them, and I think most of these were on the West Coast, but as time goes, you, you'll see that things are being added. Uh, there's a whole lot of resources mm -hmm. if this is in your wheelhouse. Yep, but they are barred from state and national parks. Yeah, that's one thing we want to be abundantly yeah. clear that no matter what state you're in or however that goes, all state parks that we have seen, this mm -hmm. is illegal, period. They don't care. They don't want your, your medical lettuce card. They just are telling you point blank, <laughs> don't bring it to the state park because it has no business being there. Yep. And that is mostly because a state park environment is considered to be a family zone. And uh, it's something you have to respect no matter where you sit on this position is that, you know, there's little kids coming through here and the last thing they want to know is why you're burning lettuce in the side of the RV with all the windows open. And that's what this comes down to. On the other side of this, federally, lettuce is not legal. And, and no matter where you are, if you are in a federal land, it is illegal. There is no sidestepping that. The federal law is very clear that this has not been legalized on a federal level yet. So do not take this to a national park and decide that just because you're in a lettuce-friendly state that it's okay. You're on federal land, forget about it. And what else we got Absolutely. here? Absolutely. So the places that do allow you to make those sandwiches have restrictions and guidelines that you have to follow just like you would anywhere else. And a lot of this we're seeing not only with lettuce, but we're seeing this with just cigarette smoking in yeah. general as well. That there's a guideline for these RV parks that will say, hey, you can do this. You can only do this inside your RV and we don't want to smell it on the outside. Right. So make sure you kind of check ahead if this is part of your uh, camping experience check ahead and, and again maybe consider those gummies because there's no smell associated with any of that but you also got to do a couple of different things here whether it's legal in the rv park whether it's legal in that state or you're crossing states over you really have to look up the law as far as possession now if you're on the medical side and you have a medical lettuce card the, you already should know your restrictions. Recreational is where it gets a little bit kind of like a muddy water thing uh, that people think just because it's legal in a state that I can take this anywhere. In fact, if you bring it near a school zone in most states, that's a felony. Mm -hmm. um, and we know this firsthand because we lived in a school zone and uh, saw our neighbors have to deal with that. So always do your research as we say time and time again, no matter the subject that we cover, because ultimately the last thing you want to do is get pulled over by that police officer in Michigan and go, but I watched a YouTube video and because uh, they're not going to take kindly to that. But it's just a kind of a short, fun video here. And if you've had this type of experience, whether it's on the pro-lettuce side or the anti-lettuce side, or maybe you just like hydroponics. Well, hold on a second, though. Yeah. Like, it's 2024. Yes, ma'am. What? Eat it. If you're going to, there's no need to be having skunk smells. Like, <laughs> there's gummies, there's mints, there's candy bars, there's, there's cookies, there's lollipops, there's what else is there? Oh, those little peach ring things. There's, there's so, all sorts of things. Let right. me tell you. I, we don't do any of these videos scripted, but we're going to share a little funny story with you. Uh, this was right at the end of the big pandemic, and Carrie and I took off to, once the border was open, we took off to uh, Quebec. And we were just outside of Montreal, and we had a beautiful hotel, and <laughs> recreational lettuce is a, very much a thing there. In fact, we actually did a video on what the experience was buying it. What we've never actually publicly said is that we consume this <laughs> in Montreal because, well, we're adults and we can do these things. So you could look this stuff up online, right? And so we chose the most obscure name that we could find. So I looked this up on their website and they have a government agency yeah. that apparently regulates all this stuff. And you can go through like a menu. <laughs> you know how the kids do Tinder and they just pick, you know, keep swiping until they find something they like. This was like that, but with lettuce strains. And uh, I'm thinking, hey, I can handle this because, you know, this was 25 years ago that I did any of this. 
So we decided we're going to take, we want something that's going to be potent. So we found, what was the strain of this stuff called? It was Subway Scientist. Our first clue that we did <laughs> not belong in there was when we went into the lettuce store <laughs> and uh, we handed them our passport thinking that they were going to want to see ID in, in Canada. It's a whole new world because they didn't even care about our ID. They were just like, you're old going through. <laughs> and we walked inside and we're like, hey, we'll take a pre-rolled thing of lettuce here, the Subway <laughs> Scientist, and you know, we're just having fun with it. And the lady looked at us and went, are you sure? <laughs> we're like, of course we're sure. We're Americans. We got this. And uh, there we were in, in there. And she even gave us a uh, she even gave us a lighter because apparently lettuce is better when it's hot. And uh, off we went. Now, because we're in a hotel and we can't uh, do this in a hotel, we went for a walk. <laughs> and this is pre Bob and Carrie walking five miles a day. We just went for a walk. And next door to this hotel was this parking lot that I guess was being turned into another building or whatever. So there was plenty of dead space that you could walk around and consume your lettuce <laughs> without a problem. <laughs> what we weren't prepared for was the two minute walk back to the hotel where Carrie and I were so tripped up on lettuce that we could barely make it back to the hotel. It was so bad. We were just sitting there, just in the time is shifting. It's terrible. <laughs> we get up to the hotel room and realize that we hadn't eaten yet because apparently consuming too much lettuce makes you hungry. So there we were in Montreal. We don't speak French, just in no. case you ever wondered. Um, we love Montreal just because we don't speak French and we like to throw ourselves in situations that we're not prepared for. Uh, we got hungry. And Carrie and I have never used DoorDash, Uber Eats, anything like that. So in what seemed like an eternity of downloading this <laughs> app to order DoorDash, we ordered food from the building next door to be delivered to us. And by then, this lettuce had kicked in way too much. Oh my God. And there I was army crawling on the floor because I left specific instructions to leave this outside the door so they just <laughs> knocked on the door and ran and there I am army crawling. So he gets to the door and he's going, care! I'm like, uh-huh. He's like, care! I'm like, so I looked over and he's literally flat on the ground sniffing the corner of the door. I could smell the burgers and fries through this thick steel door and I wanted them except my own mind I was too paranoid to open the door because there might be somebody out there, even though I could see through the people. So long story short, we ended up getting our burgers and we ended up passing out about a half hour later and we were probably still lettuced out for the next 24 hours and it made an interesting trip back over the border. Oh even gosh. though we had nothing with us, we were still paranoid that they were going to know about our exploits in Montreal. Yep. So, so we speak with a little bit of experience and, and I, I know that ultimately, you know, this isn't everybody's thing. No. We're not advocating one way or the other, but you know, this is 2024 as Carrie stated, and it is a lot more prevalent than people either want to know or want to let on that they know. We're just real people. But this is part of what makes our channel different from the others mm -hmm. is that we are just, just being honest and open with you guys and letting <laughs> you know. There's, uh, a time and a place for everything. You won't get too many of these stories from us, but this is one that we've waited and yeah. waited to tell. Stay away from the Oreos. <laughs> oh, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. So where do you stand on this? Let us know in the comments below. We understand that our audience ranges from age groups of 35 all the way up to 75. Hell, I think somebody even mentioned they were 82 years young watching our videos. So we know that this is gonna be all over the place. Uh, but let us know in the comments below where you stand on this, where you're seeing this in the RV parks. Mm -hmm. And do you care what the person next door to you is doing, even though it smells over into your RV zone? Yep. So next time, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And we're letting you know. Enjoy your lettuce. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>